Hi, this is Cade, and this is my journey with Jack. Uh, like I said, I'm Cade Ben. I'm from Connor Continuity's office. Um, I'm actually an ag intern from UGA. The EMC sponsored my internship. Um, I thank them very much for the little bit of money they give us to come up here. The internship program I'm on is a great program. Uh, it's actually about to become a fellowship program, which is just a specialized intern. Uh, I actually get to work under a, a legislative assistant for agriculture. How often do I work? Yeah. Um, every day. I uh, <laughs> get here at 9 in the morning or try to. Um, <laughs> and then I leave at 6 or whenever they stop voting at night. Just a couple of weeks ago on the Ag Appropriations Bill, uh, they stayed in session until well after midnight, two nights in a row. So, I mean, they, they, your congressman actually do some work up here. They, <laughs> they stay in session for a long time. Any other questions? Yes. Well, here we are trying to catch 90 school kids, and it's not easy, but sometimes you lose 90 people at the U.S. Capitol. There's a lot of security, but somehow they get invisible. And here they are now, eager, anxious young kids who really want to talk hardcore policy with a member of Congress versus going early to their dance tonight. Now, you know, dance, Congressman, what do you think? <laughs> See, look at those smiling faces. What the Absolutely. heck are we doing? They're saying this is unbelievable. Welcome to Washington. Do y'all have any questions? I know you've been hearing people all day long. Hey, the bus on. is going to leave. What did I do? What? What did you just vote on? We voted on the Treasury Transportation Bill, and it has a lot of like highway uh, projects, the Treasury um, funding, the IRS, for example, and things like that. Do you think that the Hope Scholarship is in jeopardy in Georgia? I don't think Hope Scholarship is in jeopardy, um, but the brutal truth of it is it's a middle class entitlement. And uh, uh, how many of you think that uh, poor people should pay for the college education for? Uh, wealthy people. It's a trick question here. Put enough at the 7-Eleven to play Powerball. And you gotta just remember who's, who's you know, like, why is there ex excess money in the lottery to pay for that? Because people lose at the lottery. So, you know, that, and I'm just saying, if you look at it demographically, it's a, it's a, it's a, not a great tax, but uh, it is not in jeopardy because it's politically popular. The counter side to that is, Yes, but the people who are college graduates will probably be picking up a bigger tax burden and more social services for the people who are regular participants in. So there's two sides to that. 